Hello, everybody. I'm Robin the Jack with OZ, and we're back with Signalis. Maybe for story finale? I don't know. I actually don't know. I don't know how long this game is. But hi. Um. So. This game got exceptionally gay. And we're following through. I still could not tell you exactly what this story is about. But. We're doing it. So, hi, Aleph. Hi, Judge. Hi, Necrobob. Hi, AJ. Found an area name even worse than nowhere, right? I love what. <laughs> uh, I gotta. I gotta get a better moderation set up here. Let's see. But yeah. How is everybody today? Thanks for the redemption. Okay, we have our materials. We have things. I assumed it was about a gun-toting lesbian robot, and you would not be far off. Nope, nope. Okay, all of these guys. Okay, area name missing now. Oh god, there's so many bugs. So, Lark and I did a lot of moving today, so we're both pretty tired, but, you know, in a good way. We were especially accomplished. Actually ended up getting about as much as we set out to do today in half the time we expected it to take, which is great because we had enough traffic where, um, didn't have a lot of choice in how much time we had. Classroom key, okay. Oh, and my mic is already on the fritz. Hey. I don't know why it's been doing that lately. It's just anytime a stream starts, I gotta get ready to talk over it. Oh god, rude. Even touching these guys. It's not a great move. Okay. So we've made it to the classroom. Maybe I just have to update the driver on this mic. Because uh, now it wants me to get it right up close to it. Hopefully the audio quality is still fine. Just white. Let's see. I don't have the notes written down for this, but we do have... I wonder. No, we don't have anything for this. A little sleepy, but just found myself trying to talk myself into trying to design a Signalacy TTRPG because I said it couldn't work and my brain is poison. Nope, I get it. I'm going to check our notes real quick because we have more wall safe code stuff. Tired, but mostly because I had a mad boring work day, but I'm big chillin'. Hell yeah. Um, let's see. I wish I remember the code. Oh, you've been here before. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere else I can go. Yeah, okay. We have a dearth of options. I believe both of these are blocked off. Yes. And thankfully, we're not too we're not doing too bad. We're just having some difficulties. I'm gonna check this again real quick. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna head back the way we came. And uh, we're gonna take a look at what we got. We don't have 
a hell of a lot of key items. Hmm. Yeah, not a lot of key items. Turn off our flashlight. Ah. I wish I kept the note. Of the safe code. Because I didn't, and that was a full decision on my part. Can you think of a survival horror game that doesn't do inventory management? The only one I can think of is some of the Silent Hills. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I should copy-paste notes. That would be a good decision. Okay, we still don't have a classroom key. I And I would be weirded out if they started making us write down. Like, all the stuff from the very first area of the game. But then again, I don't actually need to do anything other than Look at my old notes. Because the good thing is, we can actually look at this. Let's see. Pieces note. Nope. Oh, dang it. I hate when I accidentally double tap. Here we go. 204512. That's the classroom key, I believe. Lassen Zimmer. Amnesia didn't have much in the way of inventory management either. Yeah, it was mostly physics based. Um, so much of what goes into making amnesia work is just what you have in your hands. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, it happens. Yep, Judge. In fact, I believe um, when you walk up to it, it says so. Okay. Survival horror games that rely heavily on inventory shuffling. I mean, the Resident Evil series is a classic for that. In, like, every direction. Um, yeah, I'm taking the, the death as a positive here. Um, so we can go straight in and do... Zero four five one two. Open it and grab that key. Um, let's see. I don't recall any of Bluebird's games being like it remotely involving inventory management. Um, I want to say, let's see, what are some other survival horror games? The Outlast series doesn't really do it, I don't think. Uh, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem also does a little inventory management, but it's not like restrictive, if I remember correctly. But also, I don't remember. Wee! Oh, that was close. Okay. Oh, look! Hole made of meat. Hole made of meat. Okay, I'm gonna take one second to try and fix the mic again because 
Oh my god, this has been so annoying. Testing. Testing. Oh, hey, there we go. That's better, I can lean back a little bit. And now I can do this properly. You've changed. Why don't you do that? That's creep territory. Oh, it's like everything was taken apart and put back together by someone who doesn't understand how it works. I have become whole again. I wear no mask. And I hate everything. Perhaps this is hell. This face intentionally left blank. And now... Rot front. We're starting off strong. And I think if some of y'all will remember, back at the early game, where we uh, dealt with this facility, or a facility like this, because, uh, again, we... <gasps> we have a map! Oh my god. When we first met Adler, he pushed us down an elevator shaft. Which... Not gonna lie, not not great. It's not a good time. Um, ooh, looks like the dial ring is missing. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? Whoa. Actually, I don't know. There we go. Oh, this puzzle is interesting. So we need to find the dial, and we've already gotten a hint as to where... This is the last big area of the game, so feel free to start burning through some, not all, of your ammo. That sounds about right. That's why I'm holding on to my pistol ammo and getting ready to just, like, frickin' use it. Ow. Whee! Ow. go. That won't kill them, but it will keep them out of commission for at least a few runs through this area. Okay, I think these are cell blocks. Oh no, we have stairs. We have ladders. But that's fine. Oh god. Grenade shells. Yeah. I had a feeling we were going to be in here for a while, so... Oh, gosh. Oh, gash. Oh, gish. Oh, gosh. Ooh, 8mm ammo. And a submachine gun. Oh, I love the transfer here. Postbox 4.3. Okay. So now we have emails. Let's download all. 
From Aeon Commando to Calibri, subject requisitioned. Your requisition request for a Type 84 submachine gun was successfully processed. Responsible body, uh, Rot Front Nord. Um, let's see. From Young. Hey, photo Young. Um, the locksmith said it will take. Wait, Camilla Young. We know a lot of Youngs now. Locksmith said it will take at least a period until the replacement key is done. My niece currently has the only other key, but she's still at the hospital right now. To the block ward of Sexter C, there are rumors that there is an Imperial spy active in your area. <clears throat> a Protector Special Operations Unit has been dispatched from Aeon Headquarters on Highmont to investigate and should arrive within 6 to 12 cycles. Needless to say, should they be successful, this will not reflect well on your record. You know what to do. Um, from Aeon Commando, as every season, your performance will be subject to a review by local command soon. Remember that this review will determine if you will be marked for replacement. Cool, just really front-loading the anxiety there. <laughs> Rotate front was kind of a bland band. <laughs> okay, this is the last, uh, let's see. Yes, yes, okay. I've caught up. From Ito Buker. Anja Ito, okay. I understand that you need entry to the bookstore for your patrol, but we do not have a spare key for the front door. However, you can use the back entrance to get into the store. It's secured with a keypad. The code is the birthday of my daughters. Note, they were born on Veneta. Check the last six digits of their PKZ numbers. Well, we're writing that down. Okay, so... Birthday of daughters. And last six digits. Of P, K, Z numbers. That's going to be interesting. <laughs> to Calibri from Aeon Commando. Uh, Commando. Subject, re-relocation. No. Great talk. Okay, so we have that submachine gun, which we can just go and get, yes. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's look around first. Ooh, repair patch, absolutely. Thermite flare, absolutely. We've got a save point too. We've got a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna grab this. Oh my God, this is great. Okay, so. I'm dropping all of my weapons into here for now. So that we can kind of reevaluate what we want to do. High recoil, strong knockback. Uh, got a shotgun, which is great. A flare gun, a rifle, and a submachine gun. Uh, we don't have a heck of a lot of ammo for everything, but... We've got more than enough pistol ammo. Um, revolver and shotgun rounds. It seems like that would be a really good way to go. Like, we'll just hold on to this for the time being. This will be our main way of dealing with baddies for the time being. Robin is a smart ostrich who murders all enemies close to the save point. Be like Robin. <laughs> oh, don't be like Robin. Don't you do it. Okay. So now that we've kind of figured out some stuff here, we still have so many other places to go. I'm hoping I can find a repair gun fairly soon. Hello, Marnie. Ooh. <gasps> a gay painting. Looks like there's a playing card embedded in the paint of the painting. Paint layer is too thick to remove the card without dissolving the paint first. Okay. So there's our first second puzzle of this area. We have a card that we can't access until... We get something that dissolves. So we're looking for something like turpentine. I 
I need a hand wheel to turn off the gas flow. Okay. So we need some kind of dissolver. We need a hand wheel, like a hand crank or something. Oh, we got baddies there. Anything back here? No? Okay. And here is where the passcode that we need is. No, where we put in the passcode that we need. But we don't know anything about it yet. Nice. Out. Okay. We did good. Ah, oh, this hallway is a bummer. Okay. So we now understand that there's only one real route we can go right now. We have to deal with the pipe works by way of a handle. We have a lot of only accessible from the other side sections. So now we need to go up upsy stairsy. Take a second to drop our stuff off because we don't need all this extra ammo for weapons we are not holding. Do we have any repair guns? Do we have any healing items? No, we don't. That's fine. Okay, then we're heading back out. Uh, is anybody playing anything new lately? Also, hi, cat. I don't think I said hi this time, and I'm saying it now. Um... I've, been play I've still playing a lot of Persona 5 Royal. Um, I kicked up a new mobile game for myself because my roommates are playing it. And Love and Pies, it's... It's it's okay. <laughs> but I like, I like merging things. That's fun. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Oh god. Here we go. Ah, oh, dang it. That was my bad. <laughs> there is a tr uh, an achievement that we can get for doing all that, for dying so much. Been playing Damon X Machina again, waiting on Armored Core 6, hell yeah. Um, been playing Mind Destry between the new Warframe update. I was also poking at Minute and went back to Ballistic NG. Ooh. It's a good list. Let's see. As much as I want the repair patch. Hmm. Probably should just hold on to it. What I gather about Damon X Machina is that it's perfectly good, but it but games like that tend to not have a hook that can really keep you going unless you were just in it for the core experience and nothing else. Mindustry. Kind of like Factoria, but smaller pixels. Ooh! So, minimalist industry. I dig it. Um, waiting my Switch Lite to get back, mostly. Do I got Pyre for cheap? Maybe look at playing some of that this weekend. I, that's the one super giant game that I haven't actually started in any meaningful capacity. Pyre. Lose it gotta get on that everything I hear about it is really cool I just haven't done it uh, you know what 
Those doors I already know are blocked off, so we're not going to do that. Ministry is secretly a Tetris game with tower defense. I that's a really fun explanation that makes me interested. <laughs> Zone 3 in Sonic Frontiers? Hell yeah. Okay. Let's not go into this room quite yet. Let's instead see if we can explore a little more. Okay. Okay. Dang it. There we go. Yes. Down. Ooh, two repair patches. Okay. Okay, we're not going to grab that yet, but we are going to grab this. Because we need it. Figured that's how this was going to go. Unlocks from the other side. Beast Wars is on YouTube. Ooh, hell yeah. Mondfest celebrations canceled over safety concerns. The seasonal Mondfest celebration, a young but well-established tradition in most rot front sectors, will not be allowed to take place until further notice, the Protector Public Office has announced today. There is a credible threat to public safety that is currently under protector investigation. Citizens are only to leave home for work and report all suspicious activities to their block warden. When pressed about the rumors of an imperial spy living in Sector C, the protector public office only repealed their, uh, repeated their appeal to citizens to report all suspicious activities to a protector. Hmm. So let's... Let this do its work for a second. Start with a rectangle and some resources. Run some lines from drills you place to start gathering resource type 1 so you can build a thing and get resource type 2. No hurry the fuck up and slap down a turret. Here come to kill a robot. You're too late. You're going to die. Okay, now you need to figure out if your conveyor belts are overlapping wrong and clogging up the lines. You need to start generating electricity to build better factories. So it's stress, the game. Hell yeah. I can't, I'm, I mean, I kind of, I, I kind of love it. But I'm also kind of a sucker for tower defense sometimes. At least I used to be. And I would like to try again. I want to see how far I can get in the dark. Dang it. Right, we got a hand wheel. Let's go deal with that. Also got really multiplayer. Hmm. Now I'm really tempted. I need to jot that down. Mindustry. Let's see. Okay, we've got a hand wheel. We just need to run back. But we also have some items that we don't need to hold on to. We got some pistol ammo. That's right. Games like this just kind of... I, I gotta pay real close attention. Or I will mess up. Okay. Got that going for ourselves. But yeah. Um, some Steam Deck recommendations. Why not? A uh, little gator game. Which is a great little game. Um... Sable runs really well in Steam Deck, but I think you know that one. Uh, Cult of the Lamb works surprisingly well on handheld. And I would just recommend that game in general. I'm recommending all of these games in general, but it's good. Um, Persona 3 and 4 work surprise. <gasps> Acetone! That's what we need for the paint. Oh, hell yes. Let's see. Oh, yep. Everything is... Ooh, meat grinder seems to be broken. It looks safe to drop through the floor below. Uh, 
Oh. We're not going to do that, do that yet. Um, let's see. What else? What are some good Steam Deck games? Oh, I think our inventory is full, but let's see. Blue Disquette. <gasps> okay. We do need to hold on to that soon. But what we're going to do first is we're going to run back and make use of that acetone. Do to do to do. Oh yeah, Hilux works surprisingly well <laughs> on Steam Deck, which confused the crap out of me. Picked up Lovers. A tarot card depicting the sixth major arcanum, Lovers. Let's inspect. I'm assuming we're not going to need this card right away. So, let's use this opportunity to send it back to the storage box. I also want to pop the stun rod in there. Hi, Marnie. Welcome to the stream. No, you can't have iced tea. It has sugar in it because it's sweet tea. And we don't trust you. Hi, baby. She just wants attention and love. That's Marnie for you. I looks too. I need to get to that one. I've been wanting to play it. Um. <laughs> She's just headbutting me gently. You weirdo little baby. Okay, let's jump into the meat grinder. Perfectly safe. Zan. Hi, Marnie. Wow, turning on the lights really does have... Okay. This is... This is an effect I wasn't really expecting out of this game that works really well. Turning on the lights more often than not is, uh... Makes areas more terrifying. Ooh. Trying to know what you're looking at makes things worse. And I love that. Zan means tooth, by the way. We already have so much meat. Do we need teeth, too? Makes me want to pick Moon back up. So my Switch is being repaired. Oh, no! It's on Steam now. And everybody should buy two copies of Moon. <laughs> Million Starve as Imperial Blockade continues. Due to the ongoing transit of Katesh, ration shipments to Veneta have been disrupted by Imperial forces again. Millions of Yusin citizens must starve for yet another month as Imperial missile frigates in Katesh orbit critically damaged... Uh, ooh. Read that weird. As Imperial missile frigates in Katesh orbit critically damaged one of our humanitarian convoys on the way to Veneta, sending diplomatic efforts with the Empire into another crisis. The orbit of Katesh will continue to block free travel between Veneta, Rot Rotfront, and Heimat for another eight seasons, which leaves our liberation troops on Veneta stranded on the desolate ocean world with minimal support. Convoys will continue to be sent despite the Imperial blockade. Only through perseverance can we rebuild what remains of Veneta. Oh, hey, pick up Tawa. Oh, yep, there's teeth. Oh, I love it. I love... Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a bit. Some 8mm ammo. It would be good to pick up, but we're not... Ooh, actually, you know what? Shotgun rooms. 
176. Okay. One fifty six. There we go. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, that's an imprint. Um, Locked, it requires a key, okay. Hey, boo. Okay, we got through that one without dying. So, an improved situation. Trying our best to use as few bullets as possible in every situation because reasons. Ah. Oh god. Packet Belleg Einlissen. National Post Packet Box. A matrix code scanner. Well, we don't have. Killing robots is murder. Probably. In this game, probably. It's very likely that you are absolutely correct. Ooh. Looks like we now have a shortcut. Hell yes. Okay. Oh, that's great. We still have... Hmm. Let's see, what else can we find? We've still got the two doors off to the east. Oh, we're doing bad enough that a repair spray plus would be a good idea. Stun prod. 10 millimeter ammo. Oh, yeah, I definitely got that. Let's see. But would that... Hmm. I wonder. So that's a good idea. Oh, hey! What lovely timing. Okay. What about you? Patient key. <gasps> Oh, and uh, we're running low on shotgun ammo. Let's go ahead and take our save. And let's see, where was that matrix scanner? It was off over here, right? Yeah. And we only have two cards. Don't need to repair spray right this moment. We should have a clear shot. So let's go try that. Check to make sure that this door is openable. And then we're gonna haul ass to the west. We're gonna try this out. Cause I like that suggestion, but I don't know what's going to happen. Are you going to let me use them? Can't use this here. Dang. It was a really good suggestion, too. All right, so that one didn't happen to work. Um, so we're gonna go back to the save room, drop those off, and move on further east. Maybe, hmm. I don't know that we have seen anything 
that would absolutely register as being readable by a matrix scanner. So we'll drop these off. We'll hold on to the key for the moment. Oh, hey. Actually, let's go ahead and pick up. We're going to pick up a couple of things. Ooh, yes. Uh, we have a save point right there, and we have some ammo just sitting there waiting for us. I want to double check to make sure there's nothing left. Stun prod. Moving up. Making it happen. Oh, God. Okay. Pistol ammo. Revolver ammo. That goes away. Let's see what's in here. Should lead us to another area where we can... Oh! I... Oh! There are more of you than I thought. Oh! Why do I keep hitting... <laughs> start instead of my actual inventory button. Ow. Oh. Where are you? Oh, I guess, I guess you're done. Okay. That worked out. Reunification. Reunification at any cost. Orbital defense, cannon, battery, Veneta 12. Bouillon and Contestion are crosshairs. <laughs> Artillery division of the People's Army. Cool. Things are going great then. Love it. Oh no. One big freaking hallway. Full of jerks. Oh. oh, hey, this is encouraging. Oh, and there's a safe. Oh. Wait. Okay, A, it says Elster. That's terrifying. B, can we... Peridolia. Huh. Bioresonance technology and its limitations. No other technology has shaped our nation as bioresonance has. Would we ever have been able to free ourselves from the stranglehold of, of the Empire without the support of replicas? Essential technologies like climaforming, climaforming and induced gravity would be impossible without bioresonance technology. Despite that, it feels like we've made little effort to really understand or replicate bioresonant efforts with conventional technology. Our progress in the development of electronics and microprocessors has stagnated for nearly a century now as we focus solely on new ways to instrumentalize this barely understood phenomenon. Take replica production, for example. The process of duplicating a neural pattern from a gestalt host to a replica brain is still not fully understood. How does synchronicity happen? Why is the duplicate imperfect? What happens to pre-existing patterns in the receiving brain? Recreating a replica purely with microprocessors and digital programming may be far out of reach, but I believe that we've become overly dependent on a poorly understood technology controlled solely by a few gifted individuals. It may not be long before we're back where we were under the Empire. Like the this explanation of why everything's so analog and clunky. I, it's, it's an interesting explanation. Okay, so we have a safe. We don't really know what its deal is. Oh God, out. Is there a door I can go into? Yes, okay. And I've got repair patches. I love it. Eight millimeter ammo, red diskette. Right, we still need to go back for that blue diskette. Oh, oh my god. Okay, now we just need to make it 
<laughs> Pre-existing brain. All this. We. Ooh, new hallway. Gotta love it. Yeah. So, what the the assumption really seems to be that like replicas. Oh God, more stuff. And a baddie just sitting right there. Oop. There we go. Let's go ahead and check all the doors we can access. Hey! We need that. Give us that. Give it to us now. I want it. Huh. There was a brief thing that stated that it wasn't able to support our weight. Maybe we have to drop in from above. That's my theory. I think it's a good one. Lock is defective. Lock is defective. Elster's love is too heavy. It is too gay to be lifted. Oh, pull up on stuff. Oh, wait. Picture of a magpie in the box above what looks like a small speaker or a microphone. Hey, we've got more information. Teacher's evaluation, Ariane Young. The girl without a doubt is remarkably odd. Certainly due to her being raised solely by her mother rather than by a community of good people overseen by a block warden as is normal these days. Well, that's kind of scary. Like just everything was cool up until block warden. Her obsession with paintings, music, and other such nonsense was clearly implanted during her time living in the mountains on that desolate radio outpost. And surely, her friendship with those Vanettenborn Ito sisters also expressed her, exposed her to some of the questionable literature that is illegally sold in her parents' bookstore. She does not seem to understand that these distractions are no longer acceptable now that she must partake in the society of our nation like anyone else. Personally, I can only hope military military service will beat those frivolous ideas out of her in a way that this school has failed to do so far. Well, that's terrifying. So it looks like some people did a colonialism. Really bad. Oh, wait. We have a key for that. That might be in the blue hallway. Huh. Interesting. There we go. Rude. They got back up. They don't seem to care that I'm here. Hi, Mom. Good to see you. <gasps> Here's where the cards go. Tesh, Lung, Rotfront, Veneta, Heim Heimat, and Booyan. <gasps> oh. Dream Diary, Sixth Night. I dreamt I was an Imperial farmer. I embraced my lover in the red deserts of Katesh. When a storm consumed us, the sand grinding us down until nothing remained. Thirteenth Night, I was a worker in the mines of Lung. Ooh. 
13th night, I was working the minds of Lung when I was consumed by a shapeless mass of flesh. My flesh joining with the flesh of many others until only my bones remained. My mind joined the collective of flesh, which persists beyond death. Sixteenth night. As a storm raged in the sky, I fell from a ruined skyscraper on Veneta, but I never reached the ocean below. I kept falling when suddenly lightning struck the building and I woke up. Eighteenth night. I was floating in the sunless sea below the ice on rock front when I saw a large creature move in the darkness below me in the moon's dark core. Nineteenth night. I saw a burning eye in the sky above the clouds of Buyan. I was walking through the floating imperial palace when the gaze of the sun-like iris burned my body to ashes. So, this has to do with the cards. So, as we've seen, the Lover's Arcana is listed in this game as the sixth major arcana. So, we need to jot down the numbers and the planets that are being referenced. That's like literally all I can think is the case. Thir 16th is Veneta. 18 is Rotfront. And 19th is Buyan. So that's only five, but we can just very easily do process of elimination here. Now, how's our exploration so far? We've got one room technically over here, but we haven't really needed to use it. Uh, we've got an alley over here where we haven't explored all of the rooms. Um, in large part because it was scary and I didn't want to. Um, let's see. We can go down one to easily access a save room, which I think is our best bet right now. So let's do that. Now we can either go ahead and run up and do all that now instead of waiting, which might be good with the two cards that we have. Let's see. We should also take a safety save. Oh, wait. First. Combined. Yes. Okay. We'll drop off the red disc for now so that we can go plop these two cards. Let's take a safety save. The mass of flesh in the mines reminds me of one of the Oat Studios videos. Ooh, I don't think I know what that is. I bet you that red and blue disc go into that computer right there. Um, not exactly a stretch. But I want to come back to it once we get the blue disc, since it's already pretty easy to get everything for this. Okay. Let's look at our cards. Uh, six goes to Katesh. Boop. And we have 16, Tower, which goes to Veneta. All right. I know we got that right. Because this game has been... <gasps> oh, very nice. Oh, oh. And that relates to the main room. Um, okay, okay, okay. So we got the magpie box. We got the butterflies. I don't know what to do with the butterflies. Um, and I don't remember where the disc is. The blue disc that we had to leave behind. Um, which is my fault. I did not jot it down.
Let's see. Did the painting. We can go ahead and see if we can pop that blue diskette into that computer just to check to see if it is exactly what that thing needs. I hope I'm getting there. Struggled a bit with the butterflies too. Yeah, I'm kind of holding out until I see something that directly connects, you know? Label says patient archived and it has, oh, it has A and B on it. Let's see what we get. Medibank. Oh, dang. Okay, we're gonna download all. Oh, hey, this is what we need. Erica and Isolde Ito, uh, Ito. Actually, let's flip through these real quick because it looks like maybe. Okay, Gabrielle Ong. Um. Roswita Fong. Patient is forgetful about her medication. Let's see. Is there anything here that might be? Waltrod Gao. Let's see. Ulrich Co. Doctor's notes removed. Saskia Lee, unknown cause. Um, Rebecca Leong. Nikolai Wen. Uh, Nikolai Wen. There we go. Yeah, the little download window reminds me of Melga Solid 2. Ariane Young. This fucking girl. Okay. Siegfried Yi. Uh, okay, so. Last six digits of their PKZ number. 560524. <laughs> Acromatrichia. Loss of color and hair. Ooh. Premature A... Chromo tricky. Yeah, that's that's what that would mean, right? Let's see, what other data, uh, data can we find? World of birth, lung, home world, rot front, occupation, radio officer. Um, interesting. Okay, that just gets to stay there. <laughs> AKA Yokotaro syndrome. <laughs> You're not wrong. Okay, so we can go southeast into this corridor. We have enough ammo to survive for now. And uh, the tarot cards relate to this. They'll all have different um, things, different phases of the moon that we need to pay attention to. Okay, if we want to make it through this room cleanly. That ain't shit we gotta do. We're good. Okay. Five, six, zero. Five, two, four. Yes. Okay. All right. So far, nothing is here to kill us. Song of the Gods. Possession and distribution of this publication is prohibited and punishable by the Fourth Cultural Protection Act. There exists a connection between all of us that few are fully aware of, a song that we all dance to but few can hear. This deep vi vibration of the cosmos cannot just be heard and felt. We all resonate in harmony with it, shaping it, deforming it around us. Those select few who can consciously perceive it often fear it. Too oppressive is the sound of the stars, too invasive is the noise of the unaware around them, polluting the song with their fickle emotions. But every once in a while, some are born that can not only hear and play this music of the wor worlds, but who can conduct it. Gifted individuals capable of manipulating the essence of the world around them. Many believe that the Grand Empress is such a being. 
her immense will bent humanity into the Empire of Yusin and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that imbued life into the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. Huh. So... This just revealed a lot, I think. This is pointing out a sound, a song, a some kind of melody, some kind of rhythm that is a little bit extra dimensional. And maybe that's the wrong word for it, but it's something that is... If you understand it, if you can perceive it, and you can get a certain amount of control over it, you can control other people. Bioresonance has been a big thing. Yeah, like a resonant frequency. Bioresonance has been such a big thing. And this person, this Grand Imperator or whatever, is the, ooh, the person who was able to make this possible. All of this. Some kind of <gasps> signal? Is? <laughs> Couldn't find her. I've looked everywhere. But she's not here anymore. I can't go on. I'm sorry. She got corrupted. And she got. Forgive me. Ooh. There is a very good chance that she was knowingly racing against time. Isa wearing a school uniform. Isolde. And Erica. Pick up death? Sure. At least he didn't have to shoot her? <laughs> we didn't have to shoot her. That's true. Need to turn this off. Oh god. Oh, screw that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I want to get up to the meat grinder for reasons. I don't believe that was the person we were looking for, but it is somebody important. It becomes difficult to tell who we were looking for because we had a photo of Ariane Young, which we no longer have. It's no longer in our possession in any capacity. Which should be a warning sign. Um, let's drop off this card at the tarot table. Oh, they're back. But uh, if it is, it makes me wonder. Well, A, I'm still trying to figure out who we were imprinted from, you know? Okay, 13th Major Arcanum, death. That is Len. I used a death. It's looking good so far. Hell yeah. 
Let's see. You know what? I could probably cut through a lot of this to get to the apartment and make my way down. If I'm very careful. Yeah, um, I'm fully aware and I really should be doing that and I'm being stubborn. I don't really even have a good reason to be stubborn about this. Like, this is always my problem with games. Um, I have this issue where once I get a certain momentum, I don't change course in strategy at all. Which is not great. I do not recommend it. <laughs> okay, so. This room is very nasty. But. Okay, that didn't work. It just straight up did not work. And, oh my god. There we go. Okay, so that is officially blocked off. That There is no pro progressing through that. Good to know. Suppose the question arises, did the person actually exist? How much can you rely on memories? Okay, is there anything here I don't need? We're starting to run low enough on shotgun rounds that we will eventually have a problem. Just not yet. You think the enemies that get back up are weaker? Most likely. Um, scanner, pack station. Um... Hmm. I've seen that. That's fine. That's nothing. Okay, that's where we drop down from the meat grinder. I still don't remember where the blue disc at is. That is my current problem. So we're gonna kinda go through things a little bit. Let's see, what's the best way to go? There's the service room. And the scanner, and I don't believe, wait. No, different room. We. I got confused. So we pop into here. Okay, we still don't really know what to do with that. We don't actually have a lot that we can do with that. Hmm. Oh, oh. I think some of these passages are getting blocked off progressively. Oh, right. I think I think the blue diskette is in the garbage chute. Let's try that. I was right. I like being right. I so enjoy it. I so enjoy it. Okay, if we drop down into the meat grinder and go to the public house, we can get to another save point, but the computer is over here. So that's going to be the better way to go. Hi, Crow. Late shifts can't stop me. No, they can't. You're too powerful. All right, so I think it's the first door. Yes. So we're going to pop that blue disc in. Y'all are going to leave me alone. And I am going to play on the computer. Q. 
Give me a program. Oh, you gave me three. Okay, let's first check this text file. Due to the power rationing, only a limited number of antennas in the grid are powered at a time. To de determine which antennas are currently powered, use the antennae program to triangulate the correct antenna. Take note of the antenna where the test signal can be heard on both dishes. In the transmit program, enter the antenna number and select the correct sound file to broadcast. Interesting. Oh no. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, okay. So, the deal here is that we are... Actually, I don't know. I don't know what the deal here is. Set your radio to frequency 125. All right. And transmit. Polytone magpie bells. Ooh, okay. Huh. What does this mean? Let's pause it for now and see, uh, first. Oh, okay. 210. Let's also do that. Huh? Okay, that's nothing. Holy cow. Does that do anything for us? And not powered. Okay. Oh, we can make some noises with this. You are right. Um, I don't really know what the deal is with this puzzle yet. So I think for now, we have to back off of it. Um, but if we can figure out what the deal is with it, I think... Let's see. Where was the magpie? box. It was up there. Is there anywhere else we haven't been? It's the atrium. <gasps> oh, I love Hypnospace Outlaw. Uh, everybody play Hypnospace Outlaw, please. 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 So what have we not done? Okay, so we've got the computer room, which we're at. We've got the mural, which we're slowly working on. We've got the scanner, which we haven't figured out what the hell its deal is. Um, let's see. We've got the butterflies in the butterfly room and the magpie box in the hospital room. And also, of course, the tarot and this room that we're in right now, which I have no idea what to make of it. So let's look at our, let's see, Song of the Gods. Oh, here's everything just kind of listed. That's great. We installed that switch so you could turn the lights on and off. <laughs> Not to have brain parties. Let's see. Is there anything here? A lot of news. Okay, so there's that key. There's, um... Oh, 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Memorandum, wall safe codes. This was back when we first entered this place. We are now officially in a position where I have no idea what we need to do. Drop our revolver ammo. We've got our repair spray, which we should probably go ahead and use, unfortunately. We're going to take a safety save. So, not much that I've seen which tells me anything about the butterflies. Um... Should head up the stairs and at least get up to the magpie box and the butterfly room just so we can get another eye on everything. Is there an easier way to deal with you? Not really. We could go to the. No, we can't go to the apartment. This is our way through. Whee! As much as I want to do something with the code reader, I don't know what to do. And it might be, um... It might have to do with... These other two puzzles. They're doing a lot of nesting. Ow. Stop. Oh my god, stop. Chill. Ow. I died to this room before. Oh god. There is an item here that I never picked up. Okay. This is good. This is good, actually. Developing tank. What would that... Developing photographs. Its label indicates that an undeveloped photo is inside. I need to add some developer fluid first. We haven't seen anything like that, have we? Okay. Good news. I had a repair spray sitting right there. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, there's a magpie box and there's a butterfly room. Yeah, I'm I'm really strongly thinking that most of what we have to figure out is nested. And that's one of the cool things about this game. Is that everything is nested. Puzzle solutions are not just something you can just like pop off and be done with. Let's see, is there anything? No. 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 Okay, fine. We need to get all the way to the whoop, butterfly room. Butterfly room. Hello. Don't need that. Oh, the safe. Oh, I, I need to figure out what to do with that then. Okay. Pareidolia. Pareidolia, rather. Hmm. What is the deal with these? So we have... Hmm. I may need a tip on the butterflies because I still feel like I haven't gotten everything, like, for that. I had an idea. Let's see. I 
Factory worker, university student, shop assistant, mechanic. These are all, like... Probably the basis for a lot of the beings we've seen so far. Um, we have so many notes on the different kinds of units. Like, we've got we got Esther, or Elstar. Euler. A-R-A-R. S-T-C-R. Star. And HR. I don't know that I need any of these, but I do know that Replica Magpie. Interesting that you would say that. Hummingbird. It's starting to think that some of this is going to be useful. Um, seeing human faces in patterns that are random. Is that what that is? Trying to see. No, there's not. I was hoping I could find something on their personas in some of these, but. Okay, known issues. Showering or bathing. I, I feel like I'm onto something here. Um. Some plants to take care of, including flowers. Let's see. Well stocked library. Stare at something long enough, your brain strings together disconnected bits to make meaningful things. Sometimes not even faces. Yeah. Uh, small stuffed animals. Nope. Um, they get bored very easily, may need new fetish objects at regular intervals. I'm not seeing replica known issues. Go, Elster. Well, we've seen that, so. Any other known issues? No? So, just for the hell of it. <laughs> Speaking of small stuffed animals, do tell. This is probably going to be extremely annoying trying to brute force this. Um, I know there's got to be somewhere, someone. Just screaming at the screen. Just like, just... Ah, you're doing it bad and that makes me angry. Like how I do when I, whenever I watch a Let's Play. Uh, 
Okay. None of the stuff I've written down is listed here. Interesting. We did spell a word, though. Ooh, Stimmy Seer plush. Hmm. This does seem like a very Adler room. What is this? Bioresonance technology. Da 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 da. -da. I'm assuming then that this requires radio. Okay, I don't know why that would work. Um, but, ooh. Anything on this box that gives us some kind of... Well, hmm. No. So, Judge says... You can solve this puzzle without leaving the room. Okay, let's see. We have the safe and we have the butterflies with pareidolia listed. I'm going to grab the thermite flare, and why not? So the only thing I can think of is... We're looking for these... Uh, these things. Okay, so... A-E-O-N? Maybe? Aeon. Well, there we go. Holy cow. I want to close this. Thank you. Hot damn. Okay, so we've got another card. That's great. Uh, and we have... Okay, so that's the 18th Arcanum. Oh, we're moving. We have made... We have made a progress. All right. Let's bust out of here. We need to go west. We're going to check out the magpie box real quick. See if we can, like, maybe look at some of those radio tones to see what we can pull from it. Whee! Ow! For this experiment, oh, which nobody knows about and which... I'm still figuring out what's going to be in my experimental film. <laughs> yeah, you are gonna be in this experimental film, and even though I can't explain it. Oh, what? What? Okay, we solved it. Um, okay, uh, that was an accident. What a what a delightful accident it was, though. So, <laughs> uh, okay, the best way to deal with this is by going it, hauling ass, basically, all the way south, all the way south, all the way south. Oh, we're doing such a progress right now. Oh, wow. She didn't even care we were there. Yeah, I figured 
that puzzle was just going to be us figuring out that uh, we could... use the radio. We do have a card, so we're going to go ahead and do that. It's number 18, so it goes on rot front. Um, right here. All right. We need to swap out what weapons we're going to be carrying around. Whee! <laughs> I'm glad we all understand this particular brain worm. Okay. I would like to hold on to the photo tank. And I don't think I have... Okay, let's see. Lining the towers on the computer and using them to transmit the magpie sound and using a radio to open it. Uh, yeah, I, um... I... I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to be able to do it that well. Because <laughs> that I literally just put it at a random point, played it, and went about my business. And apparently that worked. <laughs> no space cannon this time. Okay, so I need two slots. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Jack is handsome, boy. Jack is here to be handsome and baby. Uh, let's see. We need to get to the magpie box. That's going to require going to northeast, east, then north. We have to get through a few gauntlets here. Whee! This has some baddies in here, which we're going to just deftly avoid. And north. Pick up store key. Pick up store key. Okay. How many yellow doors do we have left? Probably just like one or two, right? <gasps> Metro platform. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So right now, <gasps> can we go to the apartment area? We could go all the way down to the fire escape. Ooh. <gasps> Yes, this is great. This is a great idea. This is a good idea I just had. We're going to go all the way. We. It is time to juke. Oh, that's more meat. I don't think that meat was there before. Then we're going to go down this way. We're going to... Yes, we're at a computer store. Going to... Yeah, I am not a fan of the Metro platform. Still pretty okay on time. Um, I think there are going to be some enemies revived in here, here in a minute. Catgirl made outfit. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what number was that? Nailed it. Got it in one. Thank you for the redemption. We have a new room. Oh, so good. Wait, what kind of ammo is that? Eight millimeter. Not necessary. <gasps> Developer fluid. Okay. Ooh, here we go. The photograph that was inside the developing tank. That is a Matrix card. Yes! Gasp. 
People's Army, 5th Vendetten Infantry Division, Unit 12. So, we had half of this photo. So, on the right is Alina Sio, as was explained on the back of that particular piece. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, and the scanner is right over there. <gasps> oh, we should take a second once we uh, settle on this. Let's get to the scanner room and then check out that cat. Because I want to see that cat. Let's look at a cat. <gasps> Don't worry, the audio didn't cut out for you. This is just how things are. Um... Because we need to take a moment to appreciate a cat. And there it is. There is Jack. The handsome, handsome man. We, ha we have to look at the cat. Okay, we're done. <laughs> that was very important. Thank you. I... Anytime somebody posts a cat. Anytime somebody posts their cat. I got him. Here comes the sun. Didn't do do. Leaving. I haven't found out. I'm sure the white haired girl working at the photo store in Sector C is by a resident. Be careful. Huh. They don't pay me enough to take any more risks. I'm on the next ship to Katesh tomorrow. Meet me at the docks in Sector N if you want to bail too. Son. The white-haired girl is a resonant, so the claim goes. Okay, so we can head up. Yeah. Burkdale fills me with happiness every time. Good. A good cat tail is. It's like. We'll drive people up a wall in a good way. Oh, hey! The light well above has been consumed by the mass of meat, releasing some debris that was caught in the nets above. Picked up dial ring. Oh my god, we're about to solve everything. We're, we're at it. We're doing it. This is happening. This is like one of the last things we need to start doing. So we'll climb up here and get into the terror room. Oh, this is exciting. Um, so let's see. Booyan is number 19. That is Sun. And we'll just use our last card. And now we have this. So we need to first identify what. Oh, wait. I can just reuse the notes I had already been taking. Uh, so what? Okay, Heimat was the only one we didn't write down. And I believe that was 17, which doesn't matter. Uh, what does matter is that. Okay, so we've got. Buyan is a complete circle. Hymat is a barely waning moon. Ooh. So they can be repeated, it looks like. Veneta is the same. Katesh is the opposite. Lung is a crescent. And rot front is a new moon. I, I'm not crazy in thinking that these two are very similar, right? 
It's gotta be. All right, so now we need to head back down. What all have we done? Okay, so there's a computer which technically we've solved. I, I don't know how, but we solved it. And now we are making our way over to the mural. There's just so much meat is the thing you have to understand. Okay, you know what? First, before I do that, before I do any of that, we're gonna take a safety save and we're gonna look at our inventory and see what we have access to. We have an auto injector, which I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve. Um, and I bet you anything, I bet you anything, we're about to get into a fight. <laughs> meat circuit sweats intensify. <laughs> God, meat circuit. Um, meat circus. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put the rot front ring on there. So, Bouillon, as we've seen, is a complete circle. Uh, Veneta. Oh, yes, okay. Veneta looks like that. Um, Katesh. Looks like that. Rot front has nothing in it. Heimat. And Lung. Now think that might have been it but hmm looks like that didn't quite do it for us I wonder why let's look over our notes Veneta and Heimat are very similar Hesh. Yes. Rot front, new moon. Lung, crescent. I'm assuming. If the blue part is the shadow. Oh. Which we on? Okay. That's a good point. There you go. I was just about to try something like that. Oh, God. I don't like the way the hole got bigger. <gasps> this was in the prologue. It's locked. It requires a key. Well, we don't have any keys like that. The national flag. It's meaningless. <laughs> Black and white pictures of the paintings Ariane used to make. Old Imperial serials. Ariane loved reading these. We're starting to say a lot about Ariane. Textbooks on radio operation. These used to belong to Ariane's mother. The last seal has been broken. It's time to go home. Pick up the king in yellow? Not yet. Not yet. An old wooden wardrobe. Ariane used to keep her clothes in here. The door won't open yet. Oh, and the hole is gone. I have an idea of what that particular safe is, but uh, we can't mess with it. I know for a fact we can't. Still transmitting. 195. Hmm. Can't get anything out of it. Pick up the king in yellow. Woo! All our inventory is gone. Uh, our map is gone. Everything's gone. 
Things are going great. It's fine. <gasps> Workforce assignment for Ariane Yang. We've been informed that your compulsory military service period was recently completed. According to our files, you have previously graduated from Mandelbrot Polytechnical High School in Rotfront Sector C on R34.59C and have recently submitted an application for a military service assignment. Penrose Program. An ostrich in yellow outfit. Oh, God. That's a good idea. I dropped that down. Uh, you have been processed by Aeon Workforce Assignment. Previous work experience, store clerk. Uh, Young Photo Store, part-time. Compulsory military service, route front orbital. Long-range radio operations officer training. Should you not be accepted by a military service program by the end of the season or find other employment, you will be assigned the following workplace. S-23 Serpensky Production and Mining Facility on Lung. So, did all our stuff just get dumped in here? All our stuff just got dumped in here. Okay. Strange. Well, this is great. Let's see. Auntie's note. Ariane. I left some of yesterday's dinner in the fridge for you. You can warm it up when you get back from school. Please pick up the books your uncle ordered from the Ito bookstore on your way home. Remember to leave some space in your school bag for them this time so they don't get wet. What a hint. Yeah, we we are we are in it, aren't we? My dearest Ariane, so glad to hear you're feeling better again. I was very worried when I heard from your aunt that you're in the hospital again. So remember how you used to get sick so much as a child. Please don't overexert yourself, okay? The photo you sent me is very interesting. What a strange coincidence that she looks so much like you. You could be twins. Perhaps she's related to us somehow, though I don't know anyone named Sio in our family. From the looks of it, it was a shot on Veneta. Your military service will begin soon, so you might be wearing a uniform like her soon enough. Please send a photo when that happens. Love, mother. Oh, mother. Okay, so we've got a door here. So, we've got a lot to pick apart here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's going to be fight time. Let's see, I picked up rifle and uh, the rifle. Anything else? I would assume the auto injector would be a good thing to equip. I, I'm not taking any chances here. We are going to be ready. This is the end. Leave forever. Those are such good colors. Adler's note. All efforts to contain this illness have been in vain. All the Gestalt workers have succumbed to it, leaving only dark shadows on walls and floors where they died. Soon, all of us replica will have lost our senses and turned into writhing masses of flesh. And I believe it was not an infectious disease nor a form of poison or radiation. It was a slow corruption of reality itself. As I've relived the same cycle over and over, each time details change. Things are twisted, added, removed. How long until it all turns to nothing but noise? Fun fact, a Mandelbrot set is a math function where a number sequence stays contained by its values. It doesn't go off into infinity when the iteration starts at zero. Also makes for some sweet practical, pic practical pictures. Red Dream, a crashed ship, a strange gate, a hole in the ground. An island beyond reach, memories from other lives, dreams of suffering and loneliness, a promise, a search for someone lost. So, a summary. I saw her in the red emptiness waiting for me. We made it, we had made a promise. 
As the memories of a stranger rushed into my mind, I felt the borders of myself blur. Now I can no longer tell where Falk be ends and Elster begins. So Elster is built off of Falk. Stop. You must turn back. There is nothing for you here. You've tried so many times and you've failed every time. Don't you see that you're ruining everything? This is your final warning, Adler. Well, we're ignoring that. Falk's memory. We were dancing to that song they started. They start the broadcast with. We fell asleep watching that movie we had seen before so many times. If only I could take us back to that time when we were happy. Those, these memories are mine now. That is the exact picture used with the keyhole. Why did you return? There's nothing for you here. She'll never dance with us again. No matter what we do. She doesn't even want us anymore. Hilfe. Both of us. We are com incomplete. Let us become whole again. So, uh, first, running away. Second, shooting with a rifle. Out. Come on. Huh. Hilfa, help me. God, what do we have that could do this? Oh, this, this. This is good, this is good. Oh, no, that's bad. out of that. That's fine. Come on, get down. Get down. Ow. Mm. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, we need to take a second. go. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I know what we're doing. This is just Silent Hill 4. Ow. Oh, God. Dude. Rude. Okay. Okay, so once... She starts doing that. We just gotta keep moving. Wait until she gets ready to throw a spear. Nope, we couldn't tell when she was gonna throw a spear. Oh, Octone, baby. This is wild. There we go. Okay. This is fun. Hi, Ryan. How's it growing, everybody? Oh, Hilfa. Ow. <laughs> Rude. Ow. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. 
Okay. It's a bullet hell now. You have any items for me? No? No? I'm making so many new friends. So great. So great. Oh god! Ran me over. Okay, spear time. Ow, rude. Cannot carry any more spear. Fine then. Okay, rude, very rude. Ah, yes, there we go. Crouch down, take a spear. Okay. I don't see any health items. <laughs> health items! Thank you! I needed those! Okay, the further I get away, the, uh, the more glitchy the game gets. So that's great. Oh, jeez. Oh, and there's a spear right there. Oh, wait, yes. <clears throat> Don't do that to me. Oh, we can get a lot of shots in, be careful. Hey. You do not want to get hit. You do not want to sit down. That's fine, I get it. But we also... Oh god. Give off. Um, give up? Do we have anything that'll help us here? Not really. I want to shoot you. I would like to shoot you with my gun. We clearly didn't load up on enough ammo. God, so what do I do? Well, I do know that carrying more weapons is better. Huh, maybe we should restart. Oh, we can also outlast her. <gasps> Is that it? Violent scene missing. <laughs> Is, is that is That was exactly at eight o'clock. That was at exactly the top of the hour.
Now, we are one. I've been waiting for this for a long time. The space intentionally left blank. Once again. You returned. Are you really willing to go through with this once more? You've seen what happens. This world cannot take much more. This may be our last chance. If you go back, it'll all fall apart. I can't let that happen, you selfish monster. everything. I don't think she cares. Open this time. Oh, hot damn. And Elster finally made it. Penrose briefing, phase two. By our calculations, 1500 cycles of mission time will have passed when you receive this message. Congratulations, comrade. By now, you should have become fully acclimatized to your new life aboard your ship. As you approach the Oort Cloud, your search for new worlds will begin. Let's see. Seen that. So this ship has been around for a long time. Cycle 225. When I signed up for this mission, I just wanted to get away from everything. I was sick of Rotfront, of school, of the photo store. I'm sick with the fake smiles and the whispering behind people's backs. When I saw that photo of that soldier, I wondered who she was. Was she happy? Was her family proud of her? Did her comrades love her? Since we looked alike, could I have been like her? But in the end, I just wanted to leave. Nothing I had done or made ever meant anything to anyone, so why bother? Here, I am finally free. I get to be myself and do what I want. I can finally be happy. It looks like we can't go down. Phase three. You've survived 3,000 cycles, reaching the final phase of the Penrose program. With the end of the operational lifetime of your replica unit approaching, it is time to prepare for the final phase of your mission. If you have not found a suitable world for landing by this point, accept that you will not. Find solace in the thought that others might be successful where you failed. As you are probably aware, your ship's spare parts and rations will soon be depleted. Whew. Life support systems and reactor shielding will soon begin to fail, and radiation may begin to leak from the cooling system. We recommend you do not attempt to prolong your suffering by reusing old filters or rationing supplies. Instead, make peace with your fate. We suggest that you ask your replica, while it is still functional, to spare you a slow and agonizing death, or that you take permanent rest in the cryogenic pod. Which is how this game started with opening a cryogenic pod. Remember, you will die having served your nation by partaking in the glorious demonstration of our power. That lot of good that does anyone. Sounds like a person who would do all the wrong things when interacting with the cute robot girl. 
That's the kind of person who totally befriends your replica. Cycle 648. Talk some more to the Elster unit. She's different from the replicas I knew back home. Nothing like my teachers or the block wart protector. I know she didn't have a choice, but it feels like she's also here because she didn't fit in. It's like we've run away from the world together. At first, I didn't like having someone around, and I was glad that she's quiet and didn't approach me. But lately, I've missed having someone that I can talk to. It's been so long since I've last seen another person. Never thought I'd miss it. Except her, everything is the same in here, always. Nothing ever changes. Ooh. Cycle 1294. Had a strange dream. I was listening to the radio with my mother. Like back then, the numbers were on and mother was taking notes with a book on her lap. It was that book I saw in the shop window of the bookstore where the twins lived. The one with the yellow hooded figure on the cover. When I went there to buy it, it was gone, and Erica said the protectors had confiscated it. It wasn't Issa. Can't remember. Tackle 1840. Everything is always the same. I feel like I'm trapped inside this ship. I know every bolt on every panel in every room of it. I've seen everything. I've done everything there is to do in here. I can't concentrate on anything. It's like there's this fog inside my head, and whenever I try to do anything... I just can't focus. I want to go outside. I want to breathe fresh air. I want to feel wind on my face and in my hair. Cycle 2503. I think I lost more hair. I'm sitting here, getting older. Every time I wake up, I feel older, weaker, sicker. Oh, I get out of breath so easily. Lately, my back hurts when I sit down. Which longer will this go on? Feels like I'm just slowly dying. Cycle five something. Ooh, past the 5,000 mark. I'm tired of it all. Every time I go to sleep, I wonder if I'll wake up again. I'm scared it'll be the last time I said goodnight to her. Did I say it right? Will she be okay? What if one of us just won't wake up tomorrow? Cycle 5,400 something. I don't want to die. I don't want to live anymore either. Everything is just so exhausting. I, want, I just want to lie down and disappear. Cycle blank. I just want to sleep. Please just let me sleep. We've seen some of these pages. Please just make it stop. Please. See a smear. It's time. This is all that's left. Go home. Go home. Remember our promise. Elster. I can't do it. You have to do it. It's time for this to end. Please. Sorry. You promised.
That was an experience. <laughs> This game is on a time loop, isn't it? Of some kind. We've gone through several iterations, uh, and I think we even played either several iterations or experienced several iterations while going through one particular iteration. I think the core movement through the game has been one Elster, but we've been going through the memories of various Elsters. Those Elsters that were in that pit that Adler knocked us down. It's possible it was always us, but we've been doing this. Like, yeah. Love her, so we came all this way, walking across piles of corpses who might have been our own to kill her because she's been alive for too long for there to be numbers. Yeah, sitting there in that unit. She was alive, but we did read about her losing hair and having trouble breathing while in the room, leaking radiation. Yeah, so... She was being arbitrarily kept afloat. Possibly by Elster. Who may have suggested she go into the cryopod. Um, instead of simply letting herself die. We did see a lot of meat growing everywhere. Losing hair, having trouble breathing while in the room, making radiation. We did see a lot of meat growing everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the conclusion is pretty obvious, but it seems hmm. Yeah, I'm, mul I'm still mulling over everything because there's still a lot of story that has been. given to us a lot of world building bits that influence the core of what's going on because the core of the story is us falling into a surreality um thank you for the redemption Ooh. missed a room room right next to the last door was a door to the ship's break room ah interesting I won't spoil it if you're going to replay the game. But I did save there. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned that. I do have a save right before the final battle. Um, but yeah, like, the place we were in is separate from reality. Something has corrupted reality in that spot. And, uh... <laughs> what if our ship did have cancer? I mean, I think we wound up in a space where... It's totally possible. Oh, I, I am having trouble wrapping my head around the game. Um, but this was... Rose Engine did a fantastic job on this. Like, this is a game I'm going to be sitting and thinking about for a long freaking time. Times died only four? Hmm. Ending promise. Okay. I'm going to jot that down for myself.
Oh, let me do the thing. I actually killed her with the very last handgun bullet in my inventory. Hot damn. Took me four tries to get her, and then you just silent hilled her. It, I I figured out a way to play the game that worked for me. So I'm going to load up that save. And Judge, I want you to tell me where this room is. Oh, wait, no. No, you know what? We'd have to go through the whole fight again. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that this time. Let's see, I'm still messed up by a love story where you spend lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime clawing your way across a nightmare plane using the corpses of your failures as a bridge to try and reach the one you love so you can kill them. Because they're in agony I've been for all the lifetimes you spent trying to reach them. God. It kind of is what it's all about, though. Like, each cycle was weakening the fabric of reality itself. Yeah, and the, the idea of the cycle was kind of confusing because... Like, whose reality was being weakened? Was it Elster's? Or was it actual reality? And does it matter which is which? All we do know is that Elster's kept trying. And kept working towards this one specific goal. And, like, Crow, like, nailed it. it quite poetically, I might add. Um, gosh. But hey, this was a great game, and we're going to wind down for now because, holy cow, um, this game is almost everywhere. You can get it on Switch, you can get it on major consoles, it's on Itch and Steam, um, and if this universe is a kind one, it will continue to be ported to every future console. <laughs> um, I hope Rose Engine is working on their next game, um, because holy cow, this is great. As I mentioned, um, if we want to replay this again, in case you ever want to replay it, there's a casual difficulty setting that apparently trivializes combat. I might be doing that for some of the other endings. There are three other endings, and uh, I figure we can come back to this every once in a while, replay it for a new ending. Um, but that's up to y'all. I would also strongly recommend playing this for yourself, because... It was really fun to kind of pick apart everything that we could do. Um, I have a bunch of notes. I still have my insane map. Um, it was just very good. Well, okay. So I've been Robin Interject without the scene. We'll continue to be so for the foreseeable future. We are stopping. And we'll be moving back to Yakuza Zero's uh, sub-stories. Um, on Thursday, most likely. Um, let's see. VOD is available for 60 days after initial airing, completely free. Uh, and they're going up on YouTube after they are gone from the, the, the Twitch VODs. Um, if you want to support the channel, uh, follow and subscribe for exclusive emotes, um, including the High Debbie emote designed by Lark and the Angelus Pogres emote from Dragon Guard 1. And uh, click the notification bell to know when I go live. If you're on, if you're watching this on YouTube, just subscribe. Maybe tune in to the Twitch stream if you happen to see something you are interested in. Outside of that, thank you all for coming. Get hydrated, get vaccinated, get masked up. Be good, be safe, be awesome, and be gone for the last cycle. No, wait, no, we're we're coming back. Don't worry, it's not the last cycle. It's just, I was trying to be poetic. Bye.